What is going on guys, back with another video. Today I wanna to take you on a little journey with me. Probably not all the way to Lancaster, maybe. Actually, yeah, why not? Why don't we take you guys on the journey to pick up the new car? So now we have the full F the, we have the F30 fully back to stock for the trade-in. We have the stock bumper, stock grills, stock fenders, stock suspension, stock wheels, stock side, well the side turns, took the extensions off. Gotta take all these tools out real quick and everything. And steering wheel is off. Got the steering wheel with the airbag, got the old one on. Light, tail lights, rear bumper, rear spoiler off. Everything is back to stock on this car. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to go pick up the new one. You guys guess what it is? We'll find out, right? Peace. What's going on guys? Back with another video. By the thumbnail of this video, you can probably guess I got a new car already. From the last AC or VAC Motorsports visit, I was talking about trading the car in or selling it, man. I was talking about selling it, and I ended up trading it in. And this is what we got. F80 M3 competition. You know, I'm actually in the middle of wrapping it. This is going to be a wrapping video. I didn't have time to do an unveil video. I was getting rack chips already from driving, and it was really kind of, you know, ticking me off. So... I was like, I'm just gonna wrap it right away. So we went with the gloss indigo opulent blue, the San Marino color. We have the 18 zone, but we got the wheat car with competition wheels. So yeah, let's um let's get started with wrapping. I'll probably do a time lapse. I'll tell you how to take everything off. So for the fender piece, literally all you gotta do is Unbolt this fender liner. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Move this back. Get get your hand. You can pull this back. I I, I uh, put it back, but you can pull it back, and it'll come like right here. You can stick your hand in there, and then there's clips. You can feel them. Just unclip it with your fingers from the back, and then pull with your right hand out, and perfectly came out in one piece without breaking it. That was the goal. So you got two clips there. And then you got three clips here, like one, two, and three. They just go into place, but these are the clips. So yeah, got that off like that. Just take the fender liner off, goes a long way. And then took the bumper off to do the quarter, took the tail light out. Um, yeah, you don't need to take anything, any fender liner out here or anything, just tuck straight up in there. But... Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Take, took the trim off, took this uh, piece off. But let's just knock out the fender real quick. Um, loosen two bolts here for the bumper up there, and then three eight millimeters. And then yeah, took off the guard right here, this guard. So yeah, let's just knock out the fender real quick, and then we'll get back to you guys.
All right, guys, so Fender is laid down. Just have to tuck, have to tuck everything, and then trim. That's it. Let me do some, uh, I wanna do some relief cuts here. See all this tension? We just wanna loosen that tension up, just give it a nice couple of relief cuts. I'll do this real quick. But yeah, pretty much all laid down. Some soap. We got the side skirt off. Quarter panel is done. Two doors are done. I'm gonna order carbon mirror caps. Oof, that red interior though on the blue. That just hits different. And you already know guys. Six B. You know what it is. Shout out to JJ for getting me on the wave. Oh, the 18s look so good. How many spacers on that though? Spacers and then ordered the EMB springs. I already ordered carbon splitter here, carbon splitter here, and then the rear carbon splitters, the little C piece, um, or L looking piece, whatever. Um, ordered a front lip. And I ordered the EMD springs, so I'm gonna probably get ex exhaust next. Um, I had already installed the carbon fiber Alcantara e-brake with the armrest, and then the carbon fiber Alcantara and performance shift knob. I'm gonna also change the M1 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 M2 button to red with the steering wheel trim, carbon fiber, and red. That's from the F30, which I had, that fits on this car. It's plug and play, same thing, F chassis. So the e-brake fit, the armrest fit, the M1, M2 button's gonna fit, and the trim's gonna fit. And for the shift boot, I, actually, I obviously, car was automatic, but I had to just, I just ordered that. So that's, that feels so much better than the OEM. The OEM's a little bulky and a little tall, and I don't really like that. But yeah, so yeah. Reveal video guys, we'll be here after the car is done. So yeah, let's trim this and then I'll get back to you. All right, what's up guys? Today is the next day. So here's a little progress report. Fender's done, decided to tuck all the way in there and go past cause it's, white's very hard to hide. But I've re I realized that white's very hard to hide. So I've been trying to hide it as much, but Fender's done. Uh, as you can see, a little white shows here. Uh, kind of go all the way down in there. It was being hard, but uh, probably put a patch piece in there to hide that white piece. Gonna redo this door because I had done it in two pieces and the white is showing through there, obviously. So I decided to do this in one piece. So this was one piece where you can't really see any of the white. Um, I didn't feel like taking these off because that's just a pain in the ass. Actually, I could have took it off for the back door, but for this door, that's a pain. I'm not taking the mirror off. I don't feel like doing all that. But yeah, I probably could have taken it off for the back door. I didn't really think about that. Um, I'll just take it off for the next door, probably. But yeah, like white showing through here. Probably should have tucked in more to the second second curve in the door. Instead of here, I should have went all the way and then tucked it here. So then no white, no white would have showed through there. So I probably might redo that door sometime soon, to be honest. Um, other quarter panel is done. I have to put the trim piece on, but a little bit of white's probably gonna show down there again still. I went a little bit further on this side. I tried to go more down, but no, you're probably gonna see that white there in the corner. Um, pillar, I mean, quarter panel is pretty much done. I just have to, I just took the side skirt off and then I got to tuck this in and then it should be all done. Looking so good so far. Yep. Looking so good so far. Yeah, so for a little progress report, I'll get back to you guys soon. I'm going to try to do the doors right now, bang that out, and I'll get back to you. Peace.
What is going on guys? Back with another update. Today we got Tuna. I know you guys saw him in the last video, I think it was. But a progress report. Tuna's been helping me here. Yes, I have. Been. Progress report. Um I might get the dirt bike and trash out of here, but let's go to the rear bumper. I've been looking up some videos on the rear bumper, but there are no videos at all. So I'm gonna just tell you what I tell you guys what I did and how I tackled this. Because this bumper's kind of a pain. Um so um got some bubbles coming in that's kind of annoying i tried to do as much as i could to have no bubbles but it's kind of impossible with fucking crevices like this i didn't feel like doing 30 inlays i have a carbon piece going here so it's not really going to be seen that's why i don't really care about this piece um uh, make your life easy just go ahead and grab that carbon fiber piece and it'll knock out all these inlays you'd have to do so I got an inlay going in here. One second, let me get the camera. Alright, I got an inlay going in here like this, all the way up to right here. So there's one inlay in here. Let me get those out. Alright, there's one inlay in here on this side. And then I just wrap this full piece with this, brought it to here, tucked in, cut right there so that won't be seen when the carbon piece goes there. Let me show you guys on the other side. What I'm talking about and how it's gonna look with the carbon piece. So this carbon piece right here, same setup on the other side with the inlay. Have one piece going here like this, all the way down. Yeah, it was kind of hard. I'm gonna have to put a patch piece here for that, but whatever. It's not really gonna be seen. Anyways. That's how it's going to sit with the carbon piece, so you're not really going to see anything, honestly, from a distance. This fucking wrap is only going to be on for a little while, because I'm going to go back to the old blue. Right, Tuna? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, this color is nice, but I'm just doing it to protect the paint. So I think I'm going to go back to the old color, or satin white, once I decide. But also for this, the one piece into here, all the way. That was nicely done. But yeah, those are definitely a pain in the ass down there. And I was kind of in a rush because I got to go somewhere this weekend to wrap another car. So I'm kind of rushing on this. But it's turning out pretty good. I will get back to you guys with another progress report. See you guys soon. Peace. What's going on, guys? Back with an update. So, um, the car is almost done. I've been having to go to work while I've been working on the car, so I haven't fully been able to work on the car like full time, but here it is. It's almost done. Um, I'm going to have a carbon piece here and here, so I didn't wrap these. No point in wasting time on that. Uh, throwing the 18s on. Right now, the rear bumper is done. This was done in one piece. I don't know if I already said that in the last uh, clip. I think I did say that in the last clip, but... Rear bumper, pain in the ass. I wrapped over the reflectors, did one piece in here to right here, and then a separate piece from up here down into here, and then wrapped the whole bumper, brought it down here, cut it from right here, tucked it into that inlay so you can't see that. That's going down there. This KPMF kind of sucks ass. It keeps bubbling. Like after I keep post heating, it's kind of being really annoying. I don't think I'm ever going to use KPMF again. Even though this color's fire, but there's definitely fire colors in other brands. So I have a carbon piece going here. I don't know if I said that in the last clip, but this was a pain in the ass. So yeah, just do one piece inlay here to here, one piece here to right here. Make sure it's a triangle ending. And then once you get the whole piece laid, just tuck under here, cut right here, lay that into the inlay, and then do this piece with the full piece of the bumper into here. I would highly recommend just buying the carbon pieces so you don't have to wrap this at all. And then you're just gonna have to go right here and then cut this whole piece that you wrapped with here. Just cut it from here and then cut it from up top too so you can tuck it onto the inlay and then onto the inlay again. It's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Um, trunk wrapped. This done one piece to here. I left the 
adhesive on the back still there. I took the adhesive off the trunk, obviously, because I was going to look like shit. But I left this here just so I could exactly know where the M3 logo goes back on. Um, did this piece into here. This piece wrapped here. This was a pain in my ass. There's some wrinkles here. I'm not really too hype on this color, so I didn't care if it was 110% perfect. I want my Atlantis blue back. I think I'm going to keep this color on for a couple months. And then I'm going to rock back with the Atlantis blue, unless I find another dope color. But the Atlantis blue, dude, I cannot get over that. Just look at this, dude. Now, just look at this. Look at this blue. I don't know if the camera can even get this. It's such a teal. Like, just imagine, imagine that. Oh my god, I miss my color. This was such a nice color. I am 110% doing this color again on the M3 this time instead of the 335 in a couple of months. I just wanted to protect the paint. I wanted to kind of change it up, but you know what? Dude, I can't get over that color, dude. So I said, fuck it. I already ordered it. I already started wrapping it. Might as well just finish it out. Keep it for a couple months, rock a different color a little bit. So everyone knows it's obviously not the same car. And then, you know what? I'll rewrap it again because I miss that color so much. But what I wanted to say also real quick was for these fender pieces, some people say they break them getting them out. Don't need to break them. Just literally take your wheel off, take the fender liner off. You don't have to completely take it off off. Just loosen all of literally all the bolts in one clip. And then pull this back. Literally, you can get your hand in there on the other side fully, but it's kind of hard on this side because of the uh, windshield washer fluid. Um, yeah, so I opened my fender and I found that that's leaking. So under warranty, I'm going to go get that fixed. Little shit like that you find just by wrapping your car. Um, took it to the dealer to get a multi-point inspection. Uh, they didn't tell me about that, obviously, because I couldn't see that. But the rear axle was leaking oil. They replaced the axle. So that was nice, and those hips are huge. But that definitely came in handy because the car is still under warranty. It's only at 20,000 miles, so I was pretty shocked about that. I, you know, shit happens though, whatever. But for this, you can get a long, let's see, pry tool, like one of these, and get those clips out from in there. The other side you can get out with your hand, but this side's a pain in the ass. You can only get this one clip out here with your hand from right here because all of the the casing for the windshield washer fluid is coming out more to the fender, so you can't get your hand in there. So just try to use that tool to pry them out and then pull on it as you're doing that to make it easier for yourself. But yeah, so just got to do the door handles, gas cap, and just put little things back together. Got this side of the bumper back together. Now I am getting this side back to the bump, the back of the bumper together, and then trunk is back together. Um, yeah, that's about it. So ordered the lip. I'm I ordered the lip. The lip came in. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna make another video on that an install video on that lip, in case you guys are wondering where I got it. So it's a fire lip. I haven't seen this lip on any other F80. By all means. I like to post it out there for you guys so you guys can be diverse and do other things not many other F80s are doing. So I like to find different things to stand out. So in this lip, I haven't seen it on any other F80, so it's going to be a good one. But yeah, let's get the car back together and I will get back with another progress report, guys. Peace. What's going on, guys? Back with the video. So... The car is done. Went for a little drive yesterday, so there's some bug guts everywhere. We're gonna go ahead and give it a wash. Um, put the 18s on, and man, they look so much better. Even though the monster truck fitment is there right now, it looks so much better. But yeah, the wrap is fully done. KPMF, pain in the ass to use, kind of. Um, I don't really like it. Obviously, I like 3M or Avery better. But this is the closest color I can find to San Marino Blue. Um, some parts are starting to peel up and bubble, even though I laid them down multiple times and post-heated. Um, let's see. Like right here. Starting to bubble. After I post-heated it multiple times. Right here, it bubbled and then ripped. After I post-heated it multiple times. So I'm gonna need to put a patch piece there and then heat it up and lay it down, see if it sticks. But, I mean... 
I don't understand because I post seeded it and laid it down. I didn't just like glass it and then lay it down into grooves. I literally laid it into the groove so it wouldn't bubble up. But maybe I should have done an inlay piece there, but I don't like how that was gonna look. I don't like doing too many inlays. Like I didn't even do the I didn't even do this as a two piece. I did this as a one piece and then I didn't even do this as a uh two piece either. I one piece this. So this is all one piece into here. And it looks pretty perfect if you ask me for all of this. No bubbling here really. So that was pretty pretty nice. But yeah, I don't understand with little things like that because I did everything I needed to do the way I needed to do it. But it's okay, not that big of a deal because I'm not gonna keep this wrap on for too long. I wanna go back to the Atlantis blue. I've decided that it's gonna look so 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 good on the M3. But we're just gonna keep this on for a little while just to prevent rock chips and make it easier to clean because we are ceramic coating it with our ceramic coating we have what is it right here it is let me get this to focus is it going to focus you can kind of see it skin ppf and vinyl ceramic coating by c quartz so this is specifically for wrap so let's go ahead and start the car you guys a little cold star here. Uh. Valves closed, so valves open. It's actually pretty loud, but my car, I don't know, it's kind of weird, dude. Like, some people they can hit M2, put it in sport, and then start the car, and the valves already open before they start it. But my car, I try to do that, the valves stay closed. I don't get it, I have no idea. And then I try to, after I start it, I try to hit M2 and open the valves, and they still don't open until the car warms up. So, I don't know what's up with that. I gotta figure that out. But yeah, let me pull the car guy. Let me pull the car out and guys and show you in the sun. Alright guys, so here's the car outside. It looks amazing. So like I said, we put the carbon pieces here and there. Just to make it easier so we didn't have to wrap those. 18s look amazing. Yeah, this looks really good. This looks super good. Not much peeling really going on on areas where they should not be obviously at all all good everything's good 
I'm gonna get carbon mirror caps too, so that'll just be easier. I still wrapped them, obviously. I'm gonna clean the car real quick, but yeah. So she's all done, all good to go. We'll walk around. Um, so right here, you can see white. So I'm gonna do a patch piece, but on the other side, I thought it through and I actually went in and over again and then cut. So that's good. And then the quarter panel, I needed to go deeper also. So white showing, I'm gonna put a patch piece there. But this side, not showing, cause I put, I went in and then out and then all the way and then cut it. Let me show you. Like this. So I went in there and then I cut it there. So, not too bad. If you guys have any questions on how to wrap your car, by all means hit me up on Instagram, Oz, O-Z-Z, Z, three Z's, underscore F80. I'll put it right here somewhere. Um, yeah, she's all done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. We will have a next video on the install for the lip and I'm getting the PSM diffuser. We're doing a bunch of stuff to this car. So just get ready guys because it's coming all at once. I already ordered EMD springs. We're gonna be doing an install video on the EMD springs. I, the front lip didn't fit, unfortunately, because these splitters are different than the ones that was supposed to come with the lip, but I told the company I already had these, so can I get just the lip without these? And they said, sure. Gave me a different price, lower price, obviously. Ordered the lip, didn't fit with these. They're a different complete shape. That kind of blows. Now I need to order those. I'm gonna message them. And that's about it, yeah, for now. But definitely a bunch of things coming soon. Definitely stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in, though. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for any questions. Thank you, guys. Peace.